and welcome to Studio 22. I'm your host, Kate Dawson, and joining me today is fitness advocate and OCU assistant cheer coach, Mario Dunlap. Today, Mario will be demonstrating and explaining some yoga exercises that are beneficial for your physical and mental health. She'll also be telling us about Juice Plus, which is a whole food nutrition she recommends. Stay tuned. Hey, Oklahoma, do your part and help. Keep Oklahoma beautiful. This is our land. This is our pride. Our roadways that we travel, our lakes and parks that we love, our businesses that we build, our communities that we create. And that's why littering is not okay. This is Oklahoma, our land, our pride, and we must take care of it. So do your part and help. Keep Oklahoma beautiful. Let's face it, college students can use all the help that we can get. So when you're hungry and campus looks like a ghost town, you have options. Make sure you're prepared with an OCU STARS Advantage card. The STARS Advantage card saves you money on food and retail purchases at local businesses located near campus. You can pick up your STARS Advantage card at the Involve Center located behind the Alvin's Cafe and the McDaniel University Center. Don't get left out in the cold. Pick up your STARS Advantage card and start saving today. This is my city. This is where I learn, play, work, eat. This is my city. This is my home. Hi, and welcome back to Studio 22. I am here with Mario Dunlap. How are you Hi, today? I'm awesome. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for having me. Thanks I'm for having coming. A lot of fun. I'm so excited to see all this amazing things you're gonna have for us on my show yes. today. Yes. Well, so tell me about your time here as che the cheer coach okay. at OCU. So tell me a little bit about what you do for the team, how you kind of got involved with that. Okay. Uh, last year I actually cheered and now I am the strength and conditioning coach for the spirit squad. So I administer the workouts and then I also am the assistant cheer coach. So we're in competition season, preparing for nationals. So when is nationals? Here in two weeks. Are you excited? I'm very excited. And where is nationals being held at? It's in Daytona Beach, Florida. Um, we get to compete on the band shell, which is actually an outdoor uh, platform. Mm -hmm. So um, the stadium will be covered with bleachers and the wind will be out, the sun, the beach right there. So, so like on the band shell, because I've never been. So like do okay. you guys... Is it really, really hot and you guys are nervous? And then what do you guys do after the competition is over if you guys win? What's like the huge tradition? Great question. So um, it's a two day event. We have prelims um, Thursday, Friday we'll have finals and indoors is prelims. And so outside we'll be on the band shell. Um, it's, it's a little nerve wracking, you know, depending on the weather. So the wind will be blowing, the sun in your eyes, the stadium is packed. Mm -hmm. um, but when you win, it's tradition that the whole team gets to run into the ocean, uniform and all, and uh, just really celebrate. So have you ever won nationals? I have, yes. Um, What's that feeling? Like just like knowing that you're a national champion and all the work that you put in and like doing all like the damage to your bodies and like all the hard work and it like pays off. You know, um, it's worth it. 6 a.m. practices, it's worth it. Uh, getting sweaty, being right there with your teammates. Um, it's all really exciting. You know, you see how it begins in August and you continue all the way through till April. 
So really just taking care of your body, that's a huge thing. Um, also, you know, staying on track with what you do uh, outside. So student athletes, you know, schoolwork can get a little hectic. But being with your teammates and, you know, ganging up, taking it on, it's really exciting stuff. So how did you get involved with cheerleading? I actually have a background in gymnastics and um, went to Oklahoma State to pursue uh, cheer. The head coach um, was married to my choreographer back in high school. So after gymnastics had ended, I went right into cheer and then cheered at Oklahoma State and ended up here. That's so cool. I wish I could do all that stuff, but my time will come. Yes. Um, so Not tell me. To learn. So tell me about how you got involved with like fitness and okay. everything that you do. So with my background being in gymnastics, we always did conditioning. We always did stretching, and um, really just learning the importance of it. The other side of that is fueling your body. So if you're not fueling it with the right things then you're probably not going to be able to perform at the optimal level. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so what are some like tips and tricks for like student athletes, like they're stressed or their muscles are just really achy and they have a huge mm -hmm. game coming up or a huge competition, what would be some tips for that? Well, the first thing is what are you putting into your body? Is mm -hmm. it fit fuel or is it fake fuel? And the difference between that is, you know, we need nutrients and we need substance. So if you're fully fueling your body with the right mm -hmm. um, fuel, then you'll be able to perform well. The next important thing is a lot of sleep and staying hydrated. Um, after that, recovery, it's huge. Mm -hmm. So that way you can get up and do it again. So I know you're in, you're the strength and conditioning coach for the cheer team. Would you ever, um, have you ever thought of like or considered opening up your own like fitness gym or being a physic, like a trainer? I have. Um, there are some certifications that mm -hmm. you go through, so I am a personal trainer as well. Um, I currently just went through my yoga teacher training, and that all kind of plays into effect with mm -hmm. what we do. Um, okay. Um, so, what is some like yoga stuff that you would love, like you, your favorite, like hot yoga? I know there's different types, so can we explain a little bit about that? I I enjoy the traditional yoga. Mm -hmm. um, yoga actually means the science of the mind, and okay. the human mind can be amazing, can be your worst or your best friend. Mm -hmm. And if you can learn how to really pull it to center, to use your breath, to connect it to the rhythm of your movement, it can really help you um, perform as well as you would like. Okay, so I know that you are, like I see you do so many cool yoga stuff all the time. So were you always that good, like a natural at it, or did it take time to progress and get good at like all the yoga positions? With gymnastics, we are constantly um, working on our flexibility. So naturally, I was flexible. Um, the other side of yoga was the mental aspect. So really learning how to breathe. We always are mm -hmm. moving or holding our breath, and that really tenses it up. So um, with learning how to do yoga, connect with my breath, pull it to center, because sometimes it can get overwhelming. Mm -hmm. You know, you have the crowd, you have the excitement of you know the routine, being there with your teammates. But if you learn how to instead of feel the pressure but get excited, okay. it can be a really. Cool and experience. we are going to take a short break, and when we get back, Mario will be talking about Juice Plus. We'll see you when we get back. Cool. The charge in retreat. The shot goes up. Devasone comes out of nowhere, and another block for OCU. This guy's on fire. This kid owns OCU's record in blocks, not only on the court, but off the court as well. Earlier today, he was busy crashing the boards. Just a rebounding machine. Even cleaning up the glass, giving a whole new meaning to garbage time. Yamas Dene, MVP on the court, and keeping Oklahoma beautiful off the court. Hello there folks, it looks like a beautiful day today at Oklahoma City University. On the north side we have a 100% chance of support and hard work as the sports teams make some wins. 
and on the east side of campus, there's a front of beautiful music and performances coming in, so you can look forward to that. And on the south side near the quad, we're seeing a high chance of students relaxing and soaking up the sun. I'm seeing some hand mix too. And on the west side is getting a strong breeze of Z. Doing some drum test nubs and some sleep after some schoolwork. I'm Brandon Calloway. Enjoy the OCU weather. Let's try that again. Keep Oklahoma beautiful. For more information, visit www.keepoklahomabeautiful.com. OCU is that open shot to a winning goal. Countless rehearsals for one flawless routine. Learning to serve before trying to lead. Learning a language everyone can understand. OCU is me. 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 I'm OCU. Hi, and welcome back to Studio 22. I'm here with Marielle, and she is going to demonstrate and show us about Juice Plus. What are you going to make me today? I'm going to make you a delicious plant-based protein shake. Yum. Do you like chocolate or vanilla? I like vanilla, for okay. sure. Cool. So just a little bit of the history. Um, I grew up taking Juice Plus. Uh, my, parent, my parents understood the power of nutrition, and so fueling our bodies was a huge key to every day. Mm -hmm. um, if you notice, on the back here, it will say nutrition facts. And same with the capsules. So okay. it says nutrition facts. What separates this from any other product is they'll say supplement facts. Well, this is not a supplement. It's whole food nutrition, meaning when you take this, you won't n need to eat before you take it like other supplements mm -hmm. need. You eat your capsules, you eat your gummies, and of course, your shakes as well. Cool. Yes. So this is not like a new product. It's been a long time. That is correct. Okay, okay I've so never heard of it. 30 years, it has medical research behind it, and um, places like MD Anderson, Cancer Center, Yale University, huge universities with lots of So what are some research. results that you've seen personally and from like other okay. people? Uh, growing up, I was hardly ever sick. I hardly missed school. Um, and some perks of this is it boosts your immune system, it reduces inflammation, and it eliminates toxins in your body. Okay, that's good. So what are some health benefits with this besides just not being sick or anything like that? Um, it really gives you energy. Okay. It recovers your body. And since we are um, around toxins our body stress, oxidative stress, it will help eliminate that from our bodies and to really rejuvenate and energize our body. Cool, so should we start making it? Absolutely. I'm so excited. So what's really cool is you can have anything that you would like in it. Um, I'm gonna make you a strawberry one, if that's okay. It's perfect. It's okay. So what are some other like um, flavors or fruits that you could add into this? My favorite is the chocolate banana. Mm -hmm. um, you could also put peanut butter in it, but we're not going to do that today. There are also some fun um, recipes that you make and like the Thin Mint Girl, cook Girl Scout cookies. Uh -huh. um, you can you do that with the chocolate, add some peppermint extract. You can really get crazy with it, especially because the vanilla is so wonderful. You can add uh, ingredients like spinach. So more like a green. Right, okay. absolutely. So 
as you see here, there is a plate full of um, vegetables, and these are just a few of what you would find in our capsules. Okay. And we, do you know how many servings were recommended a day? No, I do not. Okay, so 10 to 13 servings each day. And for athletes, it's mm -hmm. 16 servings. So how are we gonna get that into our body every single day? Especially for people who don't enjoy the taste yeah. of them. Um, this is the convenient way to put that nutrition into your body, fuel your body, and that is just kind of an example because this is what we are recommended daily. And then you take two of your antioxidants, two of your garden blend, and two of your orchard blend, and that's equivalent to that whole so entire So you take plate. these in the morning? Whenever. Whenever. I take them in the morning because that's when I generally remember mm -hmm. to. I'm gonna add some coconut water in here. Um, you can add almond milk. Some people just like the powder with the almond milk, or if you like regular milk. So um, I hope you like coconut water. I do, I just don't really wanna die on stage with almond milk. Because <laughs> I'm allergic I don't to peanuts you either. and almond. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's get this started. Thankfully, we have our ninja on board. <laughs> it's going to get loud. <laughs> also, another great thing is you can freeze your ban bananas beforehand, so mm -hmm. it's kind of plays a role and in I remember uh, ice cubes. Yeah, I remember you telling me that you would rather do, like, you do bananas instead of ice cubes. Yeah, it makes it creamy, thickens, thickens it up. <laughs> We are. I'm excited for you to taste. <laughs> Looks so <laughs> good. So here is to the power of nutrition. Woo <laughs> okay, that's really good, I'm not gonna lie. It is really good. Not gonna lie, I can taste the honey and yes. I really like it. So can you believe that this is made from plant material? No, I cannot. Like I've tried incredible. so many different like protein powders and all that type of stuff. Really? And there's like ones I just don't like mm -hmm. at all. And then they're just like I don't really see results mm -hmm. as like you should. Right. So this, so this plays awesome. a huge role in recovery. Mm -hmm. um, I know people are familiar with whey protein. Mm -hmm. well, that's an animal byproduct. And we don't really know what is put into that animal. But with this, um, it's gluten-free, non-dairy, low glycemic, and fiber and vegan friendly. So what, if you bought all this stuff, including the tablets, what, how, what's the cost for all of it? Great question. So here we are with the capsules. Um, it would be $78 a month. So before you kind of go, whoa, when we break it down, it comes down to $2.50 a day. Okay. And you're receiving all of this. So it's flooding your body with nutrients. Um, people are often mistaken with a multivitamin. Well, that is a fragment, fragmented, isolated um, compound, and that doesn't really help our body. So with this, okay. it floods it awesome. completely with those nutrients. So what are uh, um, some other things that you recommend about, do you recommend all of this, or do you recommend the powder or the tablets more? Um, Often I'm asked a question, okay, well, you know, I want to lose weight. I want to gain more energy. And this can help with that. We have designed something called Transform 30. Okay. And it would be two shakes a day, as well as your capsules. And then you would eliminate um, artificial sweeteners, no gluten, which is wheat. You would reduce your caffeine intake. And um, you really start to notice a difference because people who have a difficult time having those mm. fruits and vegetables. This helps bridge the gap at a convenient way, and um, you'll start to notice an energy change. It's real subtle, okay. but um, as you go along week by week, depending on if you eat lots of fruits and vegetables, um, you would really start to tell that difference. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much for the You're amazing so drink. You're so welcome. And we're gonna take a short break. Okay. Hello there, folks. It looks like a beautiful day today at Oklahoma City University. On the north side, we have a 100% chance of support and hard work as the sports team makes some wins. And on the east side of campus, there's a front of beautiful music and performances coming in, so you can look forward to that. And on the south side near the quad, we're seeing a high chance of students relaxing and soaking up the sun. I'm seeing some hand mix, too. And on the west side is getting a strong breeze of Z's. Students and dorms catching up with some sleep after some schoolwork. I'm Cameron Calloway. Enjoy the OCU weather.
try that again. Keep Oklahoma beautiful. For more information, visit www.keepoklahomabeautiful.com. Osu is smart, fun, cute, driven, so, so, so busy, expressive, exciting. But you know this, you go here. Osu is my school. Love me. They love me not. They love me. Love Mother Nature and let her keep Oklahoma beautiful. Some people don't think it's easy to be green. Audrey does it every day. Turn off appliances when they're not being used. Shut off the lights when you leave a room. Always recycle paper. Recycle plastic, too. Today, Audrey did her part in helping OCU conserve. It's that easy. Have you done the same? Visit okcu.edu slash bluegoesgreen for more information. Hi, and welcome back to Studio 22. I'm here with Marielle, and now she's going to demonstrate and some explain some yoga poses. You're going to start out with a breathing exercise. That's right. So we live in a fast-paced world, and mm -hmm. it can be crazy, it can be stressful, and it can cause a lot of anxiety. So sometimes we forget to actually breathe. And what I mean by that is to connect with the rhythm of our breath. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do okay. is, real quickly, we're going to inhale for three, and exhale for three. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Ready? Mm -hmm. And exhale. Three. And one more time. Hog up the mic or the mirror, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. So a lot of people um, like to hold their breath, uh -huh. and that's not a very good thing because when we breathe, it sends oxygen to mm -hmm. our organs and our blood. So. I like to say, okay, well, are you breathing? And people are like, yes. And I'm like, okay, well, let's just make sure. Kay. Grab your hand, and you're going to put it in front of your mouth, and you're going to breathe as if you're fogging up the mirror. Okay. So we're going to inhale, two, three, exhale. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> Feels silly, but that, yeah. that means it's working. It's good for you. So here we go. One more time. I feel so relaxed now. Yeah, it really pulls you into center, and it allows you to reduce that anxiety, reduce that stress. Okay, well, I'm going to take you, do your thing, okay. do your yoga. So I'm going to start off with um, three poses, and we're going to work our way up to beginner to more advanced. Our first pose goes a little something like this. We're going to make sure our feet are nice and flat, and here we go.
right, Josh, cool. Good? So the first pose is called chair pose. And really, we want to keep our body aligned, our hips and knees stacked. But this here helps us with our posture. Okay. It really helps us to sink our feet into the ground and really soak up that energy and um, feel strong. The next one, we did a side uh, chair pose, and that aids in digestion and elimination, okay. meaning <coughs> our stomach, um, as if it's like a towel, we would twist it okay. and it would wring out any of those um, toxins. Okay. So that's why we twist. The last one is the most advanced pose called side crow. Um, okay. And when you're doing that, it helps build strength. It's called an arm balance, but that is how you can work up to these different poses. Awesome. Yes. So what are some, are they like more stress reliever or what's the beneficial out of it? To really um, be present in the moment, it's so easy to kind of go into the past okay. or think so far ahead. So with each pose, as you are breathing, um, you're working all these muscles that you wouldn't normally think about and then you can advance them up. But really, it's so huge for the body because it's eliminating those toxins. And as you're breathing through them, um, you're really getting stronger too. Okay, so what muscles are actually being worked when you're doing those poses? So in chair pose, um, your feet, the mm -hmm. muscles in your feet, as well as our abdominal mm -hmm. muscles. So we have several of those, rectus abdominis, transverse abdominis, um, and also, it strengthens in our hips. So when we lift up here, we're elongating our spine, and we're breathing, and you can, you know, make a chair. So, and then as we're twisting, we want to make sure that we don't move our hands from the center of our chest. Okay. And we're coming here. So we have an ascending colon, a descending colon, and so that helps with digestion to move okay. those throughout our body. And the last one, um, it's really beneficial to strengthen our arms, our wrists, and it really is engaging our core. Everything comes from our core. So I know some people, when I used to like never try to do yoga, I know you've been t trying to teach me how to do a headstand, and now I'm a pro at it. You but are, <laughs> yes you are. <laughs> but I just like never actually knew that you would, can get into like fitness and or get fit from yoga. I thought it was just all flexibility. Right. So um, what are some more, background of yoga that you could explain? So people tend to think that it's just a stretch. And although mm -hmm. it is a stretch, it is also a mental aspect. And like I said, to keep present in that moment. Um, as we're moving, mm -hmm. whether it's running, whether we're holding, we want to keep breathing. And like I said, sometimes we forget to do that. Kay. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming on to the show. You're welcome. And thank you for watching Studio 22. Thank you.